Hey, what's up everybody? I have a new Art Snacks delivery that I spontaneously decided to get the other day, so here's the video unboxing. This is for um, a make your own palette type thingamabobber of this ooh, uh, brand I've never used before. I think you pronounce it Core, Q-O-R. Anyway, uh, you got to pick um, the colors you wanted inside of this. And it came with a couple other things. So, this is a really nice little box. It has little indents here to mix your colors. Um, and I wasn't sure what colors to get, so I just did like a, I don't know, standard whatever. Um, this is an Elizabeth Crimson, Payne's Gray, uh, Nickel Azo Yellow. What else did I get? Phalo Blue, Green Shade, uh, Sap Green, which Sap Green is one of my most favorite greens for outside sketching, and Van Dyke Brown. So I have never used this brand before. Actually, I've never even heard of this brand before, so I thought that would be fun to try out. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Ah, can't get it out. Okay, so we have a brush with the, ooh, it's so pretty. It has like a, a clear handle. Princeton Glacier Round number two. And here's a Art Snacks card. You got your snack. And it comes with a core watercolor sticker. And this is a little some sort of pamphlet. Oh, showing all the core colors you could get. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this is so cute. I'm so excited to use this. La 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 la. Now I just gotta decide what to paint. It's always such a hard decision. But I think I have an idea. So I decided to do another painting of my beloved plant Mr. Stanky. I did a little sketchbook entry of him a long time ago on this channel which I'll link below but it was so long ago. I, I, don't, I don't know if I recommend watching it but you know do do whatever. Um, but this guy is a wonderful little cactus slash succulent guy that I got years ago and let me tell you about him real quick. It, I'm not sure if it's a cactus or a succulent. I've heard and read different things. So there you have that. It's also, it's, it's official name is Stapelia gigantea. And it's also known as the starfish flower. It's very soft and grows very fast. And it's just a great, easy plant to have. I, I love growing him. Um, you can totally cut pieces off when it gets too crazy and plant them, share them with your friends. The cool part about this guy is he blooms the biggest, most weirdest looking flower I have ever seen. Unfortunately, mine has only bloomed one time since I got him and that was four years ago. And I'm not sure if it, I'm not putting it in the right light or what, but it did bloom once and it was so cool um it looks like a giant starfish and it's huge it's like bigger than your hand i read somewhere that they can be from 10 to 16 inches across but really cool the weird thing of super weird thing about it and the reason he has his name mr stanky is because these flowers smell bad let me tell you they smell like rotting flesh and the reason they smell like that is to attract uh, flies, which is their main pollinator. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, my dog's barking. Sorry. So I was hoping to get mine to bloom again pretty soon. We'll see. But I thought this would be a good thing to paint uh, with these paints because it seemed to have all the colors, little variations of the color colors that I got in this core uh, palette. So yeah, let's give it a try.
first I drew him out with a pencil from a photo I had. And now I'm just gonna start filling in the colors. I mixed the green with a little bit of the yellow just to get, you know, different variations of the green to try to match the, the actual color a little better. I guess I should tell the story of how I acquired Mr. Stanky as well. So I'll interject that a little bit here as I'm painting. About four years ago, I was living back in Butler, Pennsylvania, and we were going to see Cindy Lauper in concert in Pittsburgh. So we parked and had to walk through a neighborhood to get to the venue. I think it was Carnegie Music Hall or something like that. Anyway, someone had a box of these little tiny potted dudes on at the end of their driveway that said free. And I thought, I can't pick these up now. I'm going to a concert. But if they are there when I come back, I am totally taking them. At least one of them. So lo and behold, after the concert, they were still there. So I took, I think I took three or four of them. Um, and I decided to keep one for myself and give a couple away. And yeah, it was so fun because it grew so fast. He got so big. And as you could see in that photo that I did earlier, he's spread out in all these directions. When I got him, he was just one tiny little spike. And I have cut, you know, his little arms off several times to propagate or whatever the word is. Lots of times, lots and lots and lots of times. So he would have been so big <laughs> if I wouldn't have done that by now. It's just so fun to to share this thanky love, you know. So I have put the first layer on the greenage, greenage, and just started to work with the pot. And I forgot to clip down the papers because this paper I'm using a Arteza watercolor sketchbook which is a pretty good sketchbook. I do like it. I like the way uh, the color flows on this paper and I think it takes it pretty well. The only complaint I have, it does buckle. So that's why I always put down the clips, which I think they all kind of buckle a little bit. So that's not really a big deal. And then at the v after you're done with the painting, if there's a lot of paint on it, you can see some weird lines like that's, that is the texture of the paper. And I don't think that happens as much with normal watercolor paper, but it's great for just a sketchbook. It's really affordable. And yeah, one of, one of the better watercolor sketchbooks that I've used anyway, you know, for the price. I think I got mine in Black Friday, like a three pack or something like an Amazon lightning deal. So I painted in the flower with like a light wash of yellow. I'm adding a little bit of shading towards the middle. And I'm adding just a hint of shading around the edges just so it looks a little more three dimensional. Now I'm working on, this is a bud that has not yet bloomed, which is huge. It was so fun whenever I had two buds and they got so huge. And then all of a sudden one day they popped open and they smell really bad, like I said. So you can either just keep it outside while it's bloomed. So it won't stink up your house. Or you can enjoy the flower for a little bit and then cut it off and throw it away. They don't really last that long anyway, so... I would probably just stick it outside until they're gone. You can see right here, this jumped forward. I was recording, I thought I was recording and I actually wasn't, I was so mad. But I wanted to show you anyway what I did. I just took some of that, uh, the, the red and the brown and made this color to do the little tiny little lines all over the flower. And as I went to the middle of the flower, they are more concentrated 
and you know it makes the flower look kind of deep I guess you could say and I also did a wash of um, brown and black in the background so now I'm going with a little more shading around the edges of the flower just just to give it more three dimension and I like to add some inking after the fact I don't know that's just what I end up doing just my style do it if you like do, don't do it if you don't want to but I think it gives it a little pop so I'm just going around the edges with a, a little a thicker line and put my little signature there at the bottom and I have a, a thinner one that I'm just adding a few some ha some hatching and some rougher edges because I think that makes it look cool. So overall I really like this watercolor palette. I the the watercolors are great. I don't have any problems with it. I thought it was nice and bold color, um, very opaque. Whenever it dried, it was still very, very bold. And I would recommend it. Um, I mean, I'm not like the super, super duper professional, judgmental kind on watercolors unless I put them on and they seem really, really weak and wimpy. And these were definitely not that way. They were super nice, definitely worth a try. Um, yeah, thanks Art Snacks for that opportunity to buy this little palette. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please let me know if you watched. Uh, let me know if you have this plant. If you know me personally and you want a baby of Mr. Stanky, let me know because I have babies all the time to give away. <laughs> I hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends. And check me out on Patreon. I'm always doing new stickers of the month and postcards every month. Little rewards here and there. And it would mean the world to me if you would support me over there. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.